Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age on the PC. The last time, we went around to the seedlings of the World Tree, and we saw well, stuff related to Cetacea, how she got some cool armor and was able to break through the uh, barrier surrounding Cosmo, so we could, so Erdwin and his companions of the past could fight Cosmos. And we also saw that uh, in a different cutscene, or a different uh, scene, that Morkant turned into Mortigant because he was tempted by the power of the Dark One. And then he somehow kept a little bit of his good self and a whole lot of his bad self, and that little bit of his good self turned into the Seer, while that whole lot of his bad self turned into Mortigant. So, yeah. Kinda, kinda cray cray. A lot happened. Also, we saw Veronica as an adult for the first time since the opening uh, scene of the game if you don't press start on the controller. So, there was that. Neato. And today, uh, we need to go speak with the Elder Watcher in the Havens Above, so let's get there, shall we? Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we have a warp point to the Tower of Lost Times, so we just have to take the picture there. Anyways. By the way, the other place to steal from the Hooper Doopers if you want to max out the... or get the shields and start selling them, is over by Hoto. Uh, no, we're not summoning Hup. We're not summoning you. Yeah, it's over by uh, Hoto, and at that at that area, I think they only show up in a maximum of two, whereas the whale station one, they'll show up a group of like three or four sometimes. And because they do have the ability to cast like Kaboom and some other stuff and confuse you and stuff, that could be a pain in the ass. Uh, luckily, I think they only have enough MP to cast Kaboom like once or twice, and after that they can't cast it anymore. So, or once or twice per enemy right there. So if you can manage to survive their first couple kabooms and not get confused or whatever, then you're pretty good to go. Or you can cast Fizzle, or put him to sleep, or something like that. And hope that Eric's steal rate manages to steal stuff before they wake up. Or are able to cast stuff again. So, Luminary, seedlings found, guidance granted. This scent, old scent, familiar. Elder, scent of Morkant. Well, Suspected, but did not know. Morkant's sorcery was great. Greatest, perhaps. But his heart, torn. Never satisfied. Always craving more. More power. Too much. Now you go to meet with Serenica. Gift for you. And we get the Wheel of Time. Again. So this will get us into Serenica's tower, will it? Thank you very much, Elder Eagle Tap. Send regards to Serenica. Eagle Taps. Regards. Mm. <laughs> He, he sure is uh, nice about waking up for us whenever we need to talk to him. Also, I kind of I kind of forgot that we needed that to get back in the tower. I thought it was still going to be unlocked, but no, that does make sense because previously we found it on the floor of the valley below. Elder spoke a wheel of time. Open door. Door of tower. Tower of lost time. Tower and mural exists down below, north of Yggdrasil. Mountains all around. Only Cetacea can go there. 
Ancient monsters return, he called Evil Master, Klasmos rises again, Shadow Falls, people panic below, much suffering. Please, Luminary, help people below. No one else can help. Now you're fast asleep like a champ. Watcher serves Sacred Dragon. Sacred Dragon had powerful magic, used magic in battle, battle with Dark One. The time passed, Dragon faded, magic faded, Watcher's power faded, cannot fight. Need someone else. Need Luminary. Okay, Nito. Uh, by the way, uh, with that Berserker's Blade from the Imps, I forgot that we can actually buy it later. It'll cost uh, 45,000 uh, gold when we do want to buy it, um, but that's going to be not a problem. So if you don't want to waste time trying to get a rare steal off those Imps, you can just buy it. i trying to remember trying to remember how soon we can buy it, but uh, we can definitely buy it uh, in the not-too-distant future. I know that much. All right, let's go ahead and call Cetacea, and let's go ahead and go to the Tower of Lost Time. Where we can see Serenica, the tall ghost lady. I think she looked better as a human, because she was fine as fuck, but, uh, you know, that's just my opinion. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the right opinion, but that's just my opinion. We'll check after we do that. We'll check out the rest of the. Uh, I think we'll check out the rest of the whale station to see if we have anything else we care about there. And after that, we'll get started on the rest of the post game, where we go around all the towns and different areas and get all that stuff. Because well, there's going to be a lot to do. Okay, uh, I do still care kind of about these particular sparklies. They're useful, so might as well. By the way, uh, in the post game, we obviously are going to be doing a fair amount of grinding, so I'll let you know when you have to do those. We're going to have to do level grinding, we're going to have to do material grinding, we're going to have to do hole grinding, we're going to have to do pepper grinding, we're going to have to do all sorts of stuff. Color of cocoons and glimmer gas. I feel like the chest here should be respawn since technically we went back in time and we shouldn't have got it, but I'm gonna guess that it's already been gathered. There was a chest over here, right? Is there a chest over here? I thought there was a chest. Yeah. Well, if there was, it's not here anymore, and we already got it, so... Unless it was over by the sparkly spot, which would be kind of weird, but... Eh, I'm not terribly worried about it. Also, the chests in here, they should not have respawned either, so... Sad. Sad Poodle is sad. Alright, back into the Tower of Time. It's nice that these little dudes got expanded it upon as he... That's grand. Let's go and meet Serenica, shall we? And the S version. Come on, laddie. We've a date with destiny. It's so big in here. We... This is a nice. This is a nice little zone, though. I do like it. I just wish there was uh, more to do in here. Oh well, we'll survive. Come on, treasure chest respawn. It did not. Actually, it doesn't seem to even exist anymore. Because wasn't it over here? Or was it down there somewhere? I don't remember. I don't remember. Despite the fact we weren't here that long ago. So if I end up going the wrong spot trying to get back to Serenica, well, oh well. Actually, I think the other treasure chest is over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's down there and it's open. I mean, I guess this place makes sense that it wouldn't be 
affected by time travel shenanigans since it's the place where the time travel shenanigans originate. But uh, still, still. All right, Serenica, I'm here for you. By the way, when she said she put all her stuff in the time spheres, I don't remember what that actually means. Because she was like, oh yeah, we're going to put all your stuff in the time spheres here, and you'll get it back later. But we kept all of our stuff anyway, so I'm not sure. Are you... Serenica? Serenica? This is not a name I know. State your purpose here. The Dark One has returned, and, well, we need you to give us the power to save the world. Save the world? Do you remember this, Serenica? This was your flute. I... I know it. But from where? The memory is faint, but... Yes! It is there. And yet, the flute I remember was different, mightier. <gasps> it can play but one melody, but it is a great one, a sacred one, a song of awakening, a song handed down through the years. <gasps> I think we know that song. Veronica? Mm-hmm. Rejoice! Rejoice! The time is come! Arise! Awaken, Holy One! We offer unto you the skies. Fly free once more! Arise! Arise!
Satesha, darling, you're looking just fabulous. A vision. Literally. Long have I waited. Since the time of Erdwin. Since the last great clash with Kalasmos. to us. Shh. I think she's trying to tell us something. But know this. The Dark One is powerful beyond imagining. A trial awaits you. Beneath once mighty Tzvart's rust. A means to test thy metal ere the final fight begins. Go to him. Go to Drusten. And when the time comes, when you would pierce the wall that guards him, I stand ready to serve thee. Ah, a wee practice scrap or two before the main event sounds like just what we need. I reckon we could do worse than pay Zvardzras to visit. He's right. This is one battle we can't be too prepared for. Let's go get fighting fit before we take him down. Looks like a ghosty Cervanica gets a little bit of her memory back there. We're going to need to do some serious training if we want to stand a chance against Galasmos. So I see we go to Zvardros and see what this trial Cetacea I mentioned is all about. The quickest way to get there is to zoom to Warrior's Rest. A warder for unlocking Cetacea's true power and crossing the skies to do battle with Galasmos at last. Master of the skies. Uh, we could do that. I'm kind of curious what happens if we try to like uh, dash into the star like right now with Super Cetacea. Like... I wonder if it'll break through, or, and we can actually go do it, but, uh, probably not a good idea to try, but let's try. Uh, an almighty evil emanates from within the Black Star. Begin the final battle with Klasmos. Yeah, no. Let's, uh, let's go do something else with our shiny new unicorn thingy here. Uh, can we... I guess we still can't zoom over to the, uh... The a tower of time thing. I kind of want to see if anything changes over there. Probably not. I'll just go ahead and meet you guys over there since you guys don't need to see me walking all the way back up to Serenica, so I'll be right back.
I thought I paused that, but apparently not. Yeah, oh well. I really thought I paused that, but uh... I guess not. I thought I didn't pause it like some other weird spot. Hang on. No, it doesn't look like it was uh, anything messed up. I think it's just this keyboard has a really crappy wireless range for some reason. And it's pissing me off because it keeps not registering button presses. And it's really pissing me off. Especially since I spent like $80 on it. I like it for the most part. It's just it refuses to work for some reason. Uh, Look at that huge hourglass in the center of the tower. It's weird watching this hand fall. It feels like all the time that has passed is right here somehow. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not sure where that came from. It's just a thought that came in my head. I try to ignore you, Eric, but you know, I can't always. Time Spear floats above the altar. Okay, she doesn't care about anything we have to say here. Uh, I, I think maybe just the stuff that was in there was the stuff that came back in time with us that it just didn't explicitly say, hey, you get it back, I think. But either way, let's go ahead and start looking for stuff here, uh, including stuff that I missed on the first forest whale station right away, because uh, I'm an idiot. But yeah, let's go to the, all the whale stations, and after that we'll go start checking out everything else. So we got lots of exploring to do. Yeah, there was chests over in the first forest whale station that I just kind of uh, forgot to grab. So, oh well. Alright, uh, first forest is right here luckily, I think, so... Let's go. Yeah, there's, uh, I think there's recipe in here and then also some other stuff. So let's try to grab these. I'll probably just come back and steal all my stuff from these guys later. Not terribly worried about it right now. It sure would be nice if there was a spell that put the treasure maps on the or treasure chests on the map, but sadly, I don't think there is. Yeah, let's go find these things. I don't remember exactly where they're at. I know they're, I know they're here, but let's go find them. Yeah, I don't think this uh, was. Was this one of the locations that was actually available earlier? Or was it just a different look to it now? It might just not have been available earlier in the game. But there, there we got an Agate of Evolution, which is good for uh, making some recipes later. So that's fantastic. And then there should be a recipe book around here. I think somewhere in the back over here somewhere. That I just managed to miss. There you go. Upper class accessories. Monarchs, mittens, elfin charms. You know what? Let's check those out. Why not? Monarchs, mittens. We need a pale pearl. And... Block redesignment, blindness, and confusion. So... 60% chance... Not too bad. It is a four and a half star recipe, so good luck actually making that right now. And then we need Orichalcum for a five star elfin charm. And I think, yeah, uh, Sleeper Confused by up to 50%. It basically gives you everything except for like, um, I don't, uh, it doesn't give paralysis, it doesn't give. Um, what's the other one? Uh, dancing. I not I don't because is, is is dancing one turn or is it multiple? It might be one, but okay. But paralysis and poison for sure doesn't give you. But everything else, that's a pretty damn good accessory. Uh, some of the other stuff we'll be able to make later uh, will, like just armor wise, will have really good stats for for stuff like that. Oh, by the way, uh, off-screen, uh, I only managed to re rework uh, one Deverly Drinker because I didn't have enough pearls because I spent them all on that first one. But yeah, at level 2, it goes up from 33,000 to 36,000. But yeah, then I guess that last one, it just jumps up like 12,000 points for some reason for the price. So, 
kind of odd, but oh well. That's that's why I was thinking. Oh, why is it only going up so much? I thought it was gonna go up like uh, like five thousand per attempt or something like that. Oh well. Yeah, let's go around to all these well stations and see what we have. And then probably after this episode, I'll probably I'll probably go ahead and wish we could skip this fucking cutscene every time we summon Cetacea. I, uh, you couldn't skip it in the original version of the game, and that would have been a real nice quality of life to be able to skip it in this version of the game. It takes like 15 seconds. It's ridiculous. I will time it the next time we have to use it. Because, uh, yeah, it takes, it takes a while. Alright, so we already got you. We already got you. Uh, this is... Winter is landing. I don't think there's anything there we care about. Alrighty. Let's go over here. Let's see what we got. Stippleheim Whale Station. Yeah, same stuff over here, and all new monsters. Hang on one second. Alright, so there is one monster here that shows up during the daytime, and one monster that shows up during the nighttime. So we're not going to see the the one that shows up at nighttime unless I warp out and warp back in. Or if we just stick around here long enough. Ruby. Good stuff. There we go. Here's all the enemies we need, except for the nighttime version. Glacial Golems. Alright, so for these guys, we can steal... If I can my fucking tablet to... Tablet, you piece of shit, work. What the fuck is your problem? Oh, you crisp. I don't want the fucking camera. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Get out of the fucking camera, you goddamn asshole piece of fucking shit. I don't like the fucking camera on this thing. Go away. Oh, you're pissing me off, tablet. Alright, so Chrono Crystal from a rare steel, a common steel, and Kaleido Cloth from a rare steel. Both of which we're gonna need at some point, but not terribly worried about them right off the bat. I'll see if we can uh, steal from Chrono Crystal. Here we go. We actually do have the. I'll burn you to a crisp! Robert's mid-song for the extra steel chance is just not working out all that great all the time. Giga Smash, let's see how that does for you idiots. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And then... Let's go for a swoosh. Not too bad. I think you guys just have a fair chunk of health to go through, though. Not too bad. Alright, uh, steal from you. More Chrono Crystals. Awesome. And... Let's see how Walking Flash does. Good crit. Ooh, nice crit. We could try uh, Zaff on him, but I don't think it's going to be huh. necessary. Alright, uh, you. Little slime circle. And other dude. Alright, so for the malicious slime sickles here, uh, we can steal a blue eye from a common steel and an ice crystal from a rare steel. Uh, the other guy that shows up at nighttime um, is a malicious luminous lampling, and we can steal a lamplight from a common and a brighton rock from a rare, so nothing I care about there. And then we'll check out the dragon in a minute. Alright, uh, yeah, nothing to care about from either of you actually. Uh, so instead, I'm going to Fatal Flash the uh, Golem and see if we can't get that instant kill. Uh, Not quite. That did no damage whatsoever. In the slightest. No crit. I'm sad. However, we do have... Boom. Kaboom. Good stuff. Good stuff. And you know what? Let's just pop a heal on everybody. Even though you're gonna damage somebody. Unless you decide to perk yourself up. That shield is largely decorative, isn't it, Sir Serena? Yoink! 
Alright, and it sort of needs to finish you off, I hope. Or, you know, I forgot to... I forgot about your, uh... Physical resistance for a minute there. Fair enough. Another one bites the... Alright, and I know what I want you since we're gonna get four items out of you. There we go. Uh, let's try to see if there's any treasure chests around here, but I don't know if there are. I know you, I know where we got... Oh, there we go. Ultimate key. Neat. Recipe book entitled Sage Advice. Supreme Sages Staves, Scholar Specs, Minister Mitts, Rubies of Protection. Okay, that sounds like a whole bunch of good stuff. So we'll check those out after we fight this guy. Or both of these guys. Alright, so for the Serpent, his rare steel is a seed of life. So that's real nice. And then for his common steel, it's a Serpent Soul, uh, which we're going to need a lot of for various purposes. Uh, some alchemy, or not alchemy, uh, forging and some like trading for other materials. Bad breath. That hurts. Alright, uh, let's see, so I want to start stealing from you because you have What's stuff yours that I is mine. about. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, and let's go for... How, how much did Cuff Frizz actually do to the whole... Uh, this push is directly in the fucking way. 386. You think an ice golem would be slightly weaker to to that, but I guess not. Uh, let's see, zap on the golem, see how much that does. Yeah, 130. Not that good. Nah, that's a shame. Alright, uh, multi heal everybody, please. Serena's not gonna get the omni heal for a while. We got, we got no MP out of that, that was nice. Alright, uh, let's see, fatal flash. Um. Yeah, Fatal Flash on the Serpent here. Don't think it's going to kill him, but we hope. It's like a 40% chance for an instant kill with that, I think. And then Quadra Slash for everybody. And... Water. Yep. And... Yeah, I think Kaboomer will... Finish off the, the golem. Game, you know that the fucking bush is right there, and you know there's no reason to have that be in the fucking way, but oh well. How much does Flame Slash get carried? Not much. Easy peasy. We this stuff. Uh, I'll fight the other guy that shows up here off screen later. I'm not terribly worried about it since he's not gonna cause any problems and he's just a uh, lamp laden reskin. Let's check out those new recipes though, shall we? Supreme Sage's Staff, 4 star. Pretty good MP absorption, just pretty good everything. Forms a barrier that protects all party members from breath attacks when used as an item in battle. Ooh, that's nice. You get an battle, So that's real nice, actually. And we can make that pretty easily. Uh, let's see. Anyone with intelligence? So. 20 magical might and mending and charm. It's not too bad. Uh, just pure magical mending and just pure defense. Okay, so this is slightly better on the the magical mending, and the deafness is nice, but you get better steel from just the steel percentage from the robber's gloves for Eric. So I don't think any, I don't think anything else is any real reason to make these. These might be okay for an accessory, and then this is definitely something I want to make. And then for you, I don't think I care about just 20 defense from an accessory. Okay, let's make the uh, Supreme Sage Staff. That sounds awesome. Alright, uh, Sizzly. Sizzly. Good stuff, good stuff. And. Multi. 
Perfect. Glorious. Fantastic. Here, uh, cost by half, that's fine. Uh, let's triple whammy this shit. Yeah, I want you, uh, a little closer there. Uh, let's see. Okay, now let's hope for... Let's hope that Multibash does good shit here. It didn't even touch the one in the middle. That's fine. Um, I think it's a regular bash. Yeah, okay. That should be plus two or three. Brilliantly, plus three. Fantastic. Let's go. Nice. Fantastic, Supreme Sages. Just the Instalato alone is actually worth that, in my opinion. Um, try to decide if I want one for Rab, too. Yeah, let's make another one. Uh, uh, even if I don't use it for Rab or something, having another one to give to somebody for Instalato is just nice. I'll make this one off screen. Hang on. All right, another plus three Supreme Sage of Staff. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Let's see. And then... Uh, I'm trying to decide, do I care about the... Yeah, let's make at least one Skull Respects. Just for the nice little bonuses it offers. Why not? Let's see, Sizzly. Power and crit. Okay, let's go. Nice. The problem is, even if we get uh, the Evasive Flame, uh, it's not going to be as good for this particular piece due to the split setup here. Ah. No. Quite as bueno as I'd like. Let's see, come on, crit. Pretty well, plus one. Okay, yeah, this one's more of a pain in the ass to the four jump to plus three. It seems like it would take multiple attempts just because they're both on the opposite side there. I mean, I guess technically we could still use something like Quadra Bash if we got the Faces Flame, and that would still put it up to the right side size. Plus three, whatever, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Let's make one more. I'll make one more off screen, see if I do any better. Okay, apparently this will turn out brilliantly, so that worked out pretty good, I guess. Despite the fact that the one on the left is slightly past the sweet spot, so neat up. Color specs plus three, so that's a uh, plus twenty magic might have Nice. Honestly, something for something like that would be better for Rab than Serena or Veronica, since he does both. I mean, it's still good for the other two. It's just I think it'd be better for him. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, off screen. I'm gonna rework um, a few more of these Devilry drinkers to whatever whatever I get to them on one attempt each. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so that worked out reasonably well. Um, one of the Devil Warrior Drinkers got up to plus two, and the other one got up to plus three, and then I ran out of pearls. So, neat. Uh, real fast, so I think we have a couple weapons we can forge that aren't terribly necessary right now. So, like, uh, see the... Yes, yeah, I don't think we had the Even Cloth for this earlier, so yeah, we can make the uh, Nebula Sword, which will eventually, again, turn into one of the best swords in the game, so that'll be nice. Uh, what do you mean I don't have enough? Uh, needed one, 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 one. But why is this? Oh, for my party members' inventories. Yeah, do that. I don't, I don't care. Shit. 
I thought it was like you have to buy something. No, it's just being weird. I mean, I don't care about the the rest of it. Uh, I will attempt to kind of sort of make this, but I'm gonna give up really soon if it. Actually, I'm just gonna give up right away because until we get it up to the uh, the one that actually needs to be able to be the highest level, yeah, we don't care as long as it makes it. A nebula sword. Neat. Alright, uh, there was one other weapon that we couldn't make right away. Actually, I think there was a couple because, yeah, we don't have the... We don't have the gold nugget right now. Blood letter. Did we ever make this, like, long? No. I don't think I cared about it, that's why. Um, Asterisk, you're good. Seraphic scepter. I don't care. We need the Bright Staff from the Will of Harma. We already got the Poker. I guess we don't care about the Demon Whip. But the Gringham Whip, we can make this. So that's not too bad. Sure. Or the Omega Gringham Whip, I guess. And we're done. Yeah, I'm not trying that right now. Sorry. I mean, don't worry, we'll get to all that stuff. Eventually, but uh, today is not eventually, and I'm okay with this. It didn't turn out very well, because it can't turn out very well. Like, it'd be, it'd be kind of cool if uh, if you made them perfectly right now, that they would be even better in the final forms, but that's not the case. They're going to be however they are in their final forms, no matter how you do it. So, Beastmaster Claws, we don't have you guys yet. We haven't used Claws on anything yet, actually. Axes, you guys are good. Okay, cool. And I think that's everything we care about. By the way, I, I accidentally came out of crafting and somebody surprised me right there. And I got into a battle and the Slimesicle cast Kasnooz on my party and it wasn't all that great because it sucked. Alright, uh, let's see. Ooh, another serpent. Okay. So yeah, with these uh, lamplings, lamplight from a common and brighton rock from a rare. Nothing I really care about. So I'm just going to steal from the uh, Serpent there. Also, I'm going to put up things ice, because that seems like a good fucking idea. Uh, take a smash on the Lamplings. Oh, 260 on you guys. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And steal from the Serpent there. Also, I want to see what your... Lightning Staff actually does. If it's Zap, it's like that. Oh, that's like the weakest Zap ever as well. I was hoping for a much better Zap than that. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and start with that uh, Hymn of Ice. Much better. I don't actually have the uh, Insulato Staff in my inventory right now, do I? No. And you don't have anything for uh, wait, uh, reviving it, anybody. Did you steal something already? You have like a pretty decent steal chance with all your deafness and stuff, but you're just being stupid, I guess. I will say, though, that steal rates in this game are much, 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 much better than the steal rates in Dread Quest VIII. The steel rates in that game are fucking atrocious. Because it's tied to a ability that does damage. And if you kill the enemy while attempting to steal, you're not gonna get that steal. Because they have to be alive at the end uh, they have to be alive in order to to be stolen from. So like let's say I'm fighting something and I use the steel ability and it kills them. Because it does damage, yeah, you're not getting that item, so it's a real pain in the ass. I think in the 3DS version, they actually did make it uh, a little easier, but still, it's a real pain in the ass. Um, sap you. There we go. And what's that here? Eric, you're just going to be dead for a little while. Sorry, dude. I don't even care. Alright, uh, Swords Dance. 
Good stuff. Goodbye, Shoker. You didn't need to show up in that fight anyway, again. so go away. Hey, lamp light. Neat. Even though we can buy those, I think. So, no. Fuck off, guy. I hate ice physics in games. Some people love them. I don't know why. I think they're... I think they're masochists. Or sadists. Or whatever. Whatever the one is where you like getting tortured, but... Ice physics, in my opinion, are a curse on humanity. And... They should not exist. But they do. Sadly. Alright, let's see how long it takes for this damn flute to play. So, let's see. From eight... Thirteen seconds. That's kind of fucking ridiculous, game, and you know it. Especially since it's not skippable. Like, it doesn't seem like a huge deal, but it, considering you cannot skip it at all, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Champs of Sauvage. Let's go here. Let's see what we got over... Actually, there might not be anything new item-wise, but there might be, yeah, a few new enemies. Uh, I think one of these might be a... Um, might be a, uh, a rare spawn that would potentially... Nope, not a rare spawn. Ooh, but uh, one of them does have good stuff to steal. At some point, we're going to need to heal up, but until then, oh well. Um, let's, off real fast. Uh, let's see. Exchange of Elixir, let's do that. You... There we go. All right, real fast, I'm going to give people items. So I'll... Actually, you know what? Let's do some of it on screen, like the equipment, before I forget. And then we'll do the rest later. Uh, let's see. One, one. We're going to give you a Supreme Sages Staff, which is... Not as big of an upgrade on the Magical Might as I was thinking, but still pretty good. And you can actually whack somebody with your staff and do, like, three points of damage. There we go. Neato. Looks nice. Looks nice. Uh, we don't have anything mask-wise new for you, right? Yeah, I think you're still stuck on that same old mask. Um, yeah, instead of that magical might, we're going to give you the uh, Scholar Specs 20. And then for Serena, even if we did make another of those, the monarchic, the, the monarchic mark here is still much better because it gives 35 of each. So, I'm not sure if we can make those yet. I don't think we can, but when we can, that'll be real nice. Ooh, a uh, strength booster. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Uh, you're good on that. We don't have your... Yeah, we don't have your... Uh, we don't have your dual wielding unlocked yet. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, your Ethereal Shield has 41 and 7 block, but it also gives you a little bit of Magical Might and Mending. I'm trying to decide if I want to give you a... Yeah, we, we, we get a bunch more defense, the same elemental reduction, and lose a little bit of uh, Magical Mending. Frankly, I'm not really terribly worried about it, since she never actually uses the damn thing anyways, but oh well. Uh, let's see, Grab, give you your Supreme Sages staff there. There we go. Okay, and I will go ahead and give people items like uh, Yggdrasil Leafs and whatnot, and I'll be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, real fast. Uh, no. Hang on. Or still not, no. Alrighty. Let's try this again. All right, so everybody has uh, three Perfect Panaceas, three Sage of the Lysers, and three Yggdrasil Leafs. So they all have that. And then Sol, Eric, Serena, Savando, Jade, and Hedrick all have a Sage of Staff. Yeah, I think everybody has a Sage of Staff, except for Rab can cast uh, Instalato by himself, and so can... Uh, well, Veronica cast it with her Supreme Sage of Staff, and also Rab cast it with Supreme Sage of Staff, so either way, somebody has 
everybody has a Sage's Staff for Breath Attacks. So that's awesome right there, just to have it, just to have it. Uh, everybody has the Perfect Panaceas, the uh, Mag Sage's Elixirs, and Igor's Reliefs. So we are good if we come across any more Breath Attacks. I mean, granted it's probably overkill, but this way, when we run into a boss that has that, we will be guaranteed to be able to pop that up. I'll look for some more uh, staffs that have good effects like that and try to distribute those as well because that means other people can work on the buffs at the uh, start of a fight. So yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. So there's a couple enemies over here to go find. And I think some of them have some decent stuff. What do we got? Uh, you. All right, there we go. Cool. Two enemies. We got the what, the what are they like the hyper demons or whatever they're called? Yeah, hyper animon. And then we also got the uh, knight abhorrent. I think we've already seen the uh, hyper animon. No, we've seen the Barbados. That's right. All right, so for the knight abhorrent, uh, his common steel is molten globules, so that's real nice. And then. Psych Swiper for his rare drop. Not actually sure what that is. And then for uh, Hyper Animon, he has Sunny Citrine for his common, and Dark Shield for his rare. Let me see what the Psych Swiper is real fast. Hang on. Okay, apparently it's a shield that uh, reduces elemental damage by 10%. Doesn't seem to be as good as the Devil Ray Drinker, so... Oh well. Uh, let's, see, let's just try to... Honestly, I want your multi globules. Anything, so that'd be nice. And then, yeah, I think the uh, the hyper actin. Yeah, you have this shield, which is less another shield, but uh, hang on, real fast. Surprisingly, the Dark Shield has fire and ice reduction. Huh. I mean, I don't really see the point, but it's there if you need it. Alright, uh, we're gonna crack Let's everybody. Get hurt. Okay, the uh, Knight of Born did not care about that in the slightest. Um, yes, yeah, go ahead and. Yeah, Quadra Slash. You guys don't have a rock that I care about, so. If we get the both of globules, great. If not, we can still buy it from the casino or something. So, uh, not really terribly concerned. By the, by the way, the uh, Brain Drainer, or Devil Ray Drinker Shield, uh, that reduces magical damage dealt, but it only casts on one person. So, it'll cast like Magic Barrier on one person, which is kind of a shame. Like, if it casts on everybody, I'd probably try to put that in everybody's inventory too, but uh, sadly. It does not. Here. Here here's a real convenience. Yeah, take it. Take it like a champ. Uh let's just do that with no damage, good shit. Um uh, dazzle this guy. Or he can miss. And he can heal himself. For quite a lot more than my heal does, that's for damn sure. And for multi globule, perfect. And how do you like zap since you're a giant pseudo armor? 137. Okay. Uh, how do you like zap since you're a giant pseudo armor? Sorry. Perfect. You're gonna block all my attacks. You Kakor. Will you dazzle a little bastard? Um uh, He's gonna block this, but we'll try. You bastard. How about if we want your attack power? That way you can't do as much damage. There we go. I'm kinda surprised this guy has. I hope this works! Kaboom, actually, for whatever it was he had. You're not gonna dazzle that never, are you? Uh. Right, sword stance here, trying to block them all. 
Or you can block every single fucking one, you bastard. Fuck it, hey, dude. God damn, that's some fucking... That's some fucking good shit right there. Yeah, I think spells are going to be the only way we're getting this guy out. Uh, he's probably a mean black, but let's try. Yeah, I think he's just straight up into it. Here, you're not going to be able to block a, uh, a sigil underneath your feet. Granted, I'll probably kill you with a frizz here, but still. You're a pain in the ass, sir. Or you can just deflect. I will kill you. It might take me a while, but I will kill you. Oh, you ran out of you ran out of MP. Fantastic. I always like to hear, hear that. Yeah, you were blocking like a fucking champ, dude. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to waste all my MP on this guy. Please. Dude. Fucking hey, you were a pain in the dick. Block, 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 block. I use fucking sword stance or whatever it is, and I'm not that fucking good, damn. Sunny Citrine. I don't care about that. Uh, also, I don't think there's anything treasure-wise here that we missed previously. One piece of treasure. Oh, that's right. There's probably a uh, ultimate treasure. Yeah, right there. The ultimate key. We'll go around and get all this stuff for the ultimate key eventually. But for now, we'll just grab the ones that we see. Ooh, three mini medals. Nice. How many do we have on us? Three. Okay, so, so we did turn in the other ones that we had. Neat. And I think we need 80 or so for our next little batch there. We might not actually get to the rest of all of the uh, whale stations right now. Let me check something real fast. Hang on. Yeah, I'll probably do like one more whale station, and then we'll have to get the other ones next time. Shadly. I spent too much time on crafting, like I always do. Oh well. Actually, once we get past all like the looking for all the whale stuff, uh, whale station stuff, we're gonna be pretty freaking busy, that's for damn sure. Yeah, the post game definitely keeps you occupied here. Alright, uh, one, two, yeah, we got like half of them left. Uh, let's go to, uh, actually, hang on, do we have, a uh, zoom, do we have the battlegrounds, yeah, we don't actually have the battlegrounds as a, as a warp point right now, and I'm reasonably sure that besides the one enemy that we didn't see previously, yeah, they, uh, They've got some new enemies here. Yeah. So we'll be coming back here in a little while, but for now I'm not terribly worried about it. Actually, I don't know if we ever do get a warp point here, do we? Yeah, I guess we don't actually get a warp point here, so... Oh well. Anyways, let's go find one more whale station and then we'll be out of our hair for tonight. Battleground, since we can't warp there. Bastards. Uh, we're going to go to what we were just there, so we don't need to go there. Uh, we do want to go over one of these. Yeah, one of these uh, Porto Steps or Galapagos, even. That works. I wonder if we're going to have to re go re bother the. Oh. I don't think you have anything else new here, do you? Yeah, you might not have anything else new here, which would be fantastic. 
Okay, so we're done with this. Awesome. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna have to go get the forging hammer from the Sultan again. Or if that's in our inventory and I'm just not paying attention. Huh. Obviously, we're gonna need to get more ore calcum for another sort of light since we can make our own. And we can get to the battleground, so that'd be nice. But do we have. Calamus flute, ultimate key. Yeah, I don't see the forging hammer. They took it away, those bastards. I feel like we should still have that since... Well, it was in our inventory. And I don't think it was used up when we did the... Did the, uh... The forging. You know, we might just make this a longer episode again. And then just get all this whale station stuff out of the way, depending on how many enemies are hanging out at each one. Okay, there's two for you, sparkly spots, which I don't really care a whole lot about, but they're there. And... Air, anything here besides... Okay, so nothing treasure-wise, just enemies. Yeah, if we can get through this stuff quickly, then we can just go ahead and uh, get these last couple ones out of the way, because there's two left, and then we can do other stuff next time, and I don't have to remember which ones I need to go to. Incinium. Alright. So, uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got duh. Hey, this guy. How you doing? Bill Haas. It's a great okay. name, that, by the way, guys. Fantastic. Alright, so. For you guys. Brazilian Sovereign for a common steel, and Ogre Shield for a rare steel. Okay, and the other the other monster that shows up here is a rare version of these guys, uh, called Harmacus, and Gold Bar for a common steel, and Apollo's Axe for a rare steel. So yeah, good luck getting that. Uh, the Apollo's Axe is pretty good, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it'll end up at 156 attack power when fully, uh, fully uh, forged. But we can also get it from a quest, so we'll probably get end up getting it from that. So I'm okay with this. Uh, let's giga smash you idiot. I'll still try to find the rare version of this guy eventually, but it's not high on my priority list at the moment. Still in Sovereign, we can sell it. Great. Uh, thank you for targeting Veronica the entire time, bastard. Here, uh, Google. I feel like that could have done more damage, but it did not. Okay. Uh, Veronica, you're the main one needs healing, but we'll go with everybody, I guess. Thank you. As long as they don't go crazy on you again, we should be good. You really have it out for fucking, uh, the little midget, don't you? You cop for. Alright, uh, Sword Dance. Let's see how this does. Not as good since I think they blocked some of it. Sovereign, neat. Look at that shield actually working once. Keyword there, once. You do get him such scrapes. I, I, I get it gives her more defense, but eh, a lot of times she's not targeted, so I guess you don't. I guess you don't see the block as much simply for the fact that uh, she's not targeted as much. Okay, that works. Goodbye, Bill Haas. Ha! Easy! Another Sovereign. Great. Uh, and then we got two more. Let's check out, because we don't need to go back to... We don't need to go back to uh, the... Luminary's Landing, so we don't have to worry about that. We are getting some decent stuff out of it, just from... The couple ultimate doors we unlocked, and then the, the stealable stuff from a lot of these guys. So, yeah, we are getting some decent stuff out of it. It's just taking longer than I thought to actually go through all this stuff. Primarily because I get easily distracted, but, yeah. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, so let's go... Diesel way. 
Is the horn just like... I, I thought the horn was just like floating in front of her for a second because it kind of looked exactly like that. I guess it just glows from the, uh, the top, I guess. Alright, three monsters. Same sparkly spots. And I think... Yeah, that's the uh, ultimate treasure down there, so... Neat. Please give... Seems kind of warm in here. I like it. I don't imagine picking up a lump of lava with your bare hands. It's terribly safe, but we seem to be surviving. Also, we are very, very low on MP, so let's uh, fix that. go. Uh, one more for Veronica, since she actually uses it. Uh, Serena, you can take like one, since you don't need it as much, but there we go. Back up to full. Alright, and we got plenty of critters to deal with. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are all making fun, aren't you? A dread dragon. And, of course, he gets the drop on us. Uh, serpent skin from a common steel and Dragon's Claw from a rare steel. So, the Serpent's Kitty can be nice. I don't care about the claws. It's, well, the claws. So, oh well. I mean, we hardly ever get the rare steels mine. anyway, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. Uh, I feel like dragons are weak to lightning, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Eh. Okay, so... Get crit. You fucking asshole. Uh, here, multi heal everybody. Thanks. You go ahead with that Igrisil Leaf on Soul there. And then, now is the chance to make sure that we don't get screwed by using our Sage's Staffs here. for breath reduction. Awesome. And also a Sage's Staff for you. Awesome. And for you, we're going to go ahead with a... Uh, we're going to Staff his defense. This thing? Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, uh, look at that reduced damage. So nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead with Ham of Ice Perhaps for you. <gasps> Perfect. Yeah, now, you're, now your breath attacks mean nothing. And you also have fire, so that's good to know. Don't you dare. Okay, good. Good stuff. Alright, uh, I think we're good on everything else there. Oh, we have the Dragon Slayer on, so let's see how the uh, Fatal Flash does. Actually, I still need your skin, don't I? There we go. I stole your skin off you while you're alive. That's probably why you're trying to kill me. Never hurts to try. Alright, uh, you go with a... Blunt. Perfect. Serena, another... multi -hit. Thanks. Let's see, let's go with that Fatal Flash. With the Dragon Sword. 600, nice. That worked out pretty good. Did if you I hadn't got that, right? uh... That's, that's the problem here. If they don't get the... If they get their... If they get their, uh... Surprise attack, we're screwed. But other than that, we usually do pretty damn good. Let's be something good here. Sizzling Styles. Infernal Blades, Flame Tangs, Main Fire Boomerangs, Pairs of Combustor Claws, Crimson Robes. We'll check all this stuff out next time since I actually do want to get this stuff done. Oh, look at the little rat. He's so wild and trying to give me fucking the Black Plague and shit. I did not get my attack off. Royal Reptile. Okay, you're not going to surprise me good. Keep it that way. Ooh, good. good pet for Eric. 
Alright, so Royal Reptile Serpent's Soul from the Common Seal and Kaiser Axe from a rare. And I think Kaiser Axe is like one of the better ones. Hang on. No, Kaiser Axe is one of the stuff that we've had access to for a while and I just forgot about it. So it's not worth going after Yoink. in the slightest. Alright, uh, let's go ahead with that uh, sap here. I don't know if you actually have any breath attacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to kill you with uh, prejudice before it happens. Yeah, not affected. You're gonna stun me. Oh, that didn't actually stun me, it just did damage. Okay, Hellfire. I don't know if that actually counts as a breath attack or not. I really don't. Uh, but I, you are a. You're not gonna dragon, like this! So. Nice. Yeah, that does plenty of damage. Uh, I'm assuming fire for you is not the not the uh, one. Crack. So for crack instead. That also did not do a whole lot. Get crit. <clears throat> and you're still alive. Well, uh, let's see. How about a more heal on your sister since so she kind of wants it. There you go. You're looking better. That was a fat fucking attack. Jeez, guy. I owe you one. He did like what, 300 or something? I think. And hero dies because he got his turn immediately at the start of his fucking turn for some reason. Okay, I'll magical attacks. That's fine. I don't care. I do care about. Get you back up. The agility system in this game is so freaking weird. Like, it it doesn't it doesn't like really affect the turn order as much as you think. It just makes it so that hey, you might get a chance to go first at the start of a round. So that's just really weird. How did that only How did that only do 190? That was weird. Oh well, either way. Who else? All right, and then you are the last one. And then for you, the malicious Spitzfire. Oh, we haven't seen you for a while. Uh, Magic Beast Tide from a common and Dragon Horn from a rare. So nothing I care about from this guy. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do our best to just kill the dude. I don't care about you at all. Good stuff, good stuff. Mountain Mover, that's... Something that I was going to cast on you, but, you know, whatever. Um, get a flash, let's go. Go for that instant kill with a 40% chance. That never actually works, but I was hoping, because, you know, why not. Uh, let's blunt your attack power so you don't one-shot somebody here. Perfect. You're gonna pop a buff on everybody. Hopefully that's enough for him to not like one shot Eric here. But to be safe, we're gonna go for a uh, more heal on Eric as well. Because Eric is a, a fan of dying these days. All right, uh, launch your attack once more. Perfect. Your attack is severely reduced. We are awesome there. Fatal Flash again, and Fatal still not kill you in this shot. No. 38. Much better. Fantastic. Uh, good, Fairy. Oh, uh, something for the counterattack there. But, uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go get that uh, multi-heal action here. Yeah, some of you guys are putting up a little bit of a fight. I like it. I like it a lot. Fuck Flame Slash. I mean, it's not going to do any damage, but let's just try it. Yeah, 107. Uh, we could try just force, but I don't think it's going to do a whole lot. Here. Yeah. Oh well. 
the sun. Uh, see how much you like a big fireball to the face. Eh, you don't really care. Hey, not the new world right away. Just a... Alright, you put up a decent little fight there, sir. Veronica, I guess the level nice. Uh, no, I'll use my skill points later. And let's get out of here and go to the last way station. And then we'll be done. And... Yay. We can do other stuff besides the... The whale stations. Yeah, we'll check out the recipe next time. Because otherwise we'll be here for another 20 minutes. And frankly, we've been here long, we've been here long enough today. I love this game. But sometimes it takes forever to record any episodes. Because I started recording at... 2 in the morning. It is currently 5.43 in the morning. I have got a grand total of two episodes recorded so far. Because i got to pause to look at stuff, and i got to... go through all the cutscenes and stuff like that, so... Yeah, it takes forever to record this game. Like, I really enjoy it, but it also takes forever sometimes, so... Oh, no. But in comparison to something like Kingdom Hearts... Did... I get like fucking six or seven episodes in like four hours or something like that. It was great. Uh, Zwartos, we already, been, we already went to you, didn't we? Uh. Have we gotten everything yet? Maybe we haven't got this one in the middle. I feel like there's one that we haven't got yet, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's just me imagining it. Mingle Grubby, I don't think we've been here. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we got the, uh, the Hardy Hand if we care. Uh, we got the... I think that I think that one's already... Yeah, I think that one's already open, so... It, maybe it's not, I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, a hardy hand would be nice, but it's not going to be completely necessary. Alright, headless bozo. Okay, cool. Yeah. Ooh, that green guy looks fucking awesome. Malicious muddy hand. I really like the way they look with the, the green drippy. Alright, so... If I can find it... Um... Alright, so malicious muddy hands, special medicine from a common, and strength ring from a rare, so that's not too bad. And then for Hell's Gatekeeper, macabre mont mantle from a common, and a ruinous shield from a rare. So, at the very least, let's try to get the uh, mantle, and then I think the the shield, let me see. Uh, at level 3, it's 50% dark damage reduction, and it gives you uh, 30 magical might, so that's... Could be decent if you wanted to cast spells with the hero, but other than that, I don't see much of a reason for it. I didn't steal anything. Okay, uh, we're just gonna quarter slash everybody. If I get the macabre mantle, great. If I don't, oh well, I'll survive. Oh wow, the uh, the hands did not survive at all. Good crit, good crit. Yeah, I don't think you guys are going to survive terribly long here. I'm okay with this. Uh, swish. Be gone. I do want the mantle just to see how it works. Oh, and there's the other monster here. The uh, Malicious Lysian Bird. Actually, are you actually... No, you're not somebody that's supposed to be here. Um... And frankly... I don't recall what your uh, stuff is, so, so I'd have to actually look around for it. Uh, but you're going to be a pain in the ass, I can tell you that much. Here, sap everything. Multi-heal, you bastard. 
Swords Dance on the bird. Try to get him out of the way since he's probably going to get pain. Rip. Oh, never mind. You were not that bad at all. We'll probably run into you later, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, pop a more heal on your boy Eric there. Nice. So, uh, Veronica, feel free not to uh, die there, please. No. I'm forever grateful. Okay, get the fucking steel, dude. I want the steel, but Eric is being a douche. I don't know why the steel rates in these games are so, so bad. Here, uh, sap you. That way, when we actually do kill you, you die immediately. Fucking crit! Goddamn, son! Steal the fucking item, there. Goddamn. How hard is that? Fuck. Piss me off with that shit. Alright! Shouldn't be that hard to steal a common steal from something like that. Like the rare, yeah, that's fine. But the common steal, it's like, oh, well, I stole from you four fucking times, and no, you're, you're not gonna give it to me. Make up your mind, dude. Uh, 12. We need two more for dual wield, because I think dual wield is, uh, 14. Damn. No. We're not going to use them right away. Uh, special medicine, great, I don't care. And then... Where's the... Where's the... Delicious muddy hands, I don't care, go away. Let's do this! Out of here. Oh, you guys are just gonna die to well anything really. <laughs> Goodbye. Go away. Leave me alone. Veronica wins again. Yay, we get a level for you. Awesome. Uh Hedra gets a level too. Uh again, we'll worry about skill points later. I don't care about your special medicines. Go away. Where's this last enemy? Metal hands are great if you want the experience, but if you're just trying to get through an area, or not metal hands, uh, the hands enemy in general are great if you want experience, but if you're just trying to get through an area, they like to pop up and annoy you. Okay, what is that uh, macabre mantle we got there? So that seems like it could be pretty cool. Or can't be worn by Eric, that works, okay. Alright, uh, let's see. For, no, it's for, it's for Eric, because he just doesn't want to wear it. 72 and 5 evasion, evasion chance. That's not as great as I was hoping. Okay. Gotta ignore it. Uh, we're gonna kill this guy and we're gonna die. Feel free to only be you. You bastards. Okay. Let's go! So for the final bastard of the night, uh, malicious armful, big bone from a common steel, and bandit mail from a rare steel. So again, not anything I care about. Actually, I think the Bandit Mail might be okay. Now, that's just straight up 90 defense, and I think we already had it before, so... I'm not really terribly worried about it. Uh, Quadra Slash, everybody, let's just get these guys out of the way. And it's going to be an hour and 20 minute long episode, because... It takes forever to do anything in here. I love it, it takes fucking forever. Okay, you don't need to attack me 12 times in a row, come on. Um, Fatal Flash, anybody, hey, kill him. It does good damage, it just doesn't actually get the fucking secondary effect ever. Let's light things up. Alright, goodbye. Neat. Okay, so we've explored the rest of the whale stations. Uh, got some decent items out of it, some recipes, and some just other stuff in general. Uh, next episode, we're going to start exploring more of the... Uh, malicious world and getting any anything that we can find for defeating Cosmos in the uh, distant future. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.